All right, so let's check if we have everything. We have candles for mood. We have some more. And we have my list. We're ready! Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. My name is Cosmina. If you're new here, please consider subscribe. We are growing in this family and we're hoping to get to 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. We are at 220 subscribers at the moment and I'm so excited. But today we're talking about eyeshadow palettes because I reviewed so many eyeshadow palettes so far in the year and let me tell you there's a lot of things in here that we need to cover there you go this is how many eyeshadow palettes we're gonna go through today so I categorize them in three different categories the first category is don't like second category is like and third category is need. Now, the way I um, rank them is, is based on quality, is based on price, is also based on color story. Let's, let's get into it. All right, so on number 18, we have a quad. This is from Tom Ford, and this is called 21 Last Dance. This is how it looks like. I did talk about this in one of my videos. What was what is disappointing about it or what makes it on the number 18 on the last place is the fact that it is not it is very expensive first of all <laughs> and second of all it is not um as intense as I thought it's going to be like this color is losing its intensity once you put it on the eye and you try to blend it it's just not looking the way I thought it's going to look the quality is not there for the price that you have to pay for this this actually goes for eighty dollars but I got it from a cosmetic company for 33 even $33 for this, I regret it, um, and I will never do this thing again, ever, ever, and I don't recommend it. Like, I'm not sure if it's necessarily just this quad, but to be priced that high and sell this quad and pay that price and get it and have that experience with it is insane and it will never make me buy anything from Tom Ford ever again so uh, I don't know I, I hear a lot of people raving about Tom Ford but I will tell you right now for me I don't consider it something to invest your money in number 17 this palette is on 17 because it's not a color story that I usually go for and it's not something that I necessarily really really like. This is Nudie Patootie from Laurel Los Angeles. This was not a purchase made by me. This was in a mystery box from uh, Laurel Los Angeles and I would have never purchased this ever um, because the colors. The colors are really light and they're very neutral colors natural colors nothing that really excites me uh, I'll be honest with you um, I tried a few things from here and nothing in here really excited me um, it's just very very neutral kind of boring eyeshadow palette um, so I would definitely never purchase this um, if it was in a different the 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 quality is there I mean the blendability of the shades it's there it's nice but the color story it's blah you know now my uh, number 16 make it fearless from ColourPop. and if you watched that review which was kind of a weird review but this is that one and i and i'm upset because i don't like that yellow in there but also most of these shades are not supposed to be uh, used around your uh, immediate eye area and I do have sensitive eyes so sometimes that could be a problem but I just I just felt a little bit 
bad about this i felt like it looked way cooler and way more beautiful in the pictures than what it was uh when it came here the the yellow it was not what i expected so for that reason this is on number 16. All right, the last palette in don't like category this might surprise you or it might not surprise you but this is juvia's place and this is the sweet pinks by juvia's place and this is how they look like they're very intense they're beautiful they're gorgeous on the eyelids but like i said previously um i do have sensitive eyes and these are uh all of them are not designed to be um used around the eye area immediate eye area so there are six pigments and they do give me a little bit of a headache a little bit of a stinginess in my eyes so i cannot use this or if i do use this i have to take that in consideration and because of that this is in don't like shadows let's move on to the light category so in the light category we have a really surprising one because i i this is the first time i tried this brand and this is a really cool beautiful little palette amazing packaging from cara beauty and this is in starry eyes and look at that color story it's absolutely beautiful and i did try the shades they're so beautiful and gorgeous i really do like this eyeshadow palette very very pretty and I actually bought it from tj maxx and i only paid like i don't know like a few bucks on it uh five six dollars and it's not sorry i had to wait because one of the cat hairs was on my nose and it was itchy but this is actually not a bad um quality not a bad quality not a bad eyeshadow palette it's really interesting that it's that cheap because it's usually not too expensive this brand and it is really nice really really nice i do like this another color pop thing see we, we do have things in like from ColourPop. And it's this one. This is called Little Ray of Sunshine. And this is an all matte eyeshadow palette. This has a bunch of like mustardy tones in there, which I really love. And this is, this basically will be my neutrals. You know, this, this, this is the neutrals that I would wear. Um, and I really do like the formula in this. They're very soft and buttery. I love the colors. I love how they show up on my eyes. I really like this eyeshadow palette. It's very, very pretty. The next uh, next one in here, it's another one from ColourPop, and this is Ballad. I actually played recently with this one, um, just to make sure that I still feel the same way, and I do like it. I think it's a really nice, cool tone eyeshadow palette that I don't have in my collection, and that's why I purchased it, because it was like this... I don't have these colors in my collection and it's really nice you guys i really like the quality a little bit too dusty but i really like the payoff and the the looks the variety of looks that it can come up with this little eyeshadow palette so makeup geek i uh purchased a mystery box from them and they stand four different shades and this is how they look like i did play with them i do like them i mean i i knew i liked the formula from makeup geek they have a really beautiful formula but also these colors are so pretty and you can create such a beautiful look with it i really do enjoy makeup geek next thing here we have uh, <laughs> natasha denona zendo palette and this eyeshadow palette I did review it, um, and when I did review it, that video was a mess, but anyway, when I did review it, I did like the greens, and I do like the greens, I still like the greens in here, but playing with the coral shades, it wasn't the same experience, it was a little bit, um, 
it is very I, actually this is the weird factor of it i don't understand why but it's very crumbly the eyeshadow palette the the formula in some of these it's very crumbly but also some of them were patchy some of them were not showing up the way i was thought it's going to look like the intensity was not there so i had a little bit of problems of like making the corals look beautiful on my eyelids and because of that and because of the price this is on number 10 still a pretty decent place okay so on number nine i have another laura Lee los angeles um palette if, if you want to say it like that it's just a few loose shades over here that i received it in that mystery bag that uh I told you I purchased from her earlier this year and I really like this shade these two are so pretty but I tried all of them I really do like them I think the shades are actually a different type of quality than the ones in the the nudie patootie I don't know why but I feel like these have a little bit more intensity to them and they are a little bit more blendable a little bit more softer as well um so i like this one's a little bit better than that one for sure all right the last one from the light category is this one from um <laughs> colourpop and this is like your everyday and here this is crush and you have some beautiful shades in there very nice to blend some nice sparkles in there that it you can create some really really beautiful looks with it i tr i tried this one and i did i was able to come up with a very similar look to the one that i created with the bronze eyeshadow palette from natasha denona so this is a really nice um eyeshadow palette and i really do enjoy it i really think this is that perfect daily eyeshadow palette that you need to have all right neat we're gonna go into the need category so these are eyeshadow palettes that i'm very excited about that i always try to play more with and uh on number seven we have this laura de los angeles party animal i really like the shades in here they are very pretty very brandable it's super super nice um and the color store is exciting it's exciting it's pulling me in it's making me want to open it. it's making me smile so that's why this one is in here on number six on number six we have a huda beauty eyeshadow palette again this was um a mystery bag eyeshadow palette and i am excited about this one because the color store in here it is really really beautiful but also i have to say that um the the quality in this one is really good absolutely beautiful very nice to blend the mattes are a dream to play with the shimmers are very intense i really like this one this might be better even than the mercury retrograde because that one there's some matte shades that i just don't like in that in that uh, eyeshadow palette so this one it's really nice i'm really surprised that there's not that many people that discuss about this one because when I tried it, I had amazing experience with it. Number five, this is an eyeshadow palette that is intended to be for face and eye. And this is from uh, Dominic Cosmetic. This is the transition palette. I have to say I would have regretted if I wouldn't purchase this because I love love everything in here for the face not for the eyes the eyes it's i mean it, you can use it on the eyes if you really want a very natural look and i know there's people out there that really want that that is not necessarily me but this i use them on my face and i love it i really love these things um it's such a one and done eyeshadow palette and it's amazing this will be amazing for traveling and i can see myself just packing this in with a foundation and a lipstick and a mascara and be done that will be the dream all right 
let's see what came up in number four so number four we have an eyeshadow palette that is a little bit more recent in my uh, collection and this is from kiko milano and this is dolce diva such a beautiful color story very easy to blend super pretty i love the look that i was able to create with this one i tried it again the next day and i loved it even more this is a really nice eyeshadow palette and it's also really affordable as well i think 16 dollars. that's it and the packaging oh i love the packaging on number three we have a very recent one this is from makeup by mario this one took me by surprise let me tell you i was not expecting to like this so much these eyeshadows they actually melt onto your eyelids they just melt you don't need to blend too much and the color really surprised me because I really thought it's not going to look good on me. But they did look absolutely amazing. Here's the video if you want to go and check it out. But I was extremely surprised, pleasantly surprised with this one. And I really do like it. All right, now number two, we have the Browns palette from Natasha Denona. So I really do like this one this one feels a little bit different than um the other one but even this one does have some shades in here that have a little bit of that crumbly effect on them but the color story it's really beautiful it's rich it's all those browns the richness i like it about it and also you have those beautiful corals in there i really do enjoy this eyeshadow palette and i do think um I am really happy that I received it in a lucky bag from Beautylish. I did not purchase this myself. Now, the last eyeshadow palette in here, the number one that I think it's a need, it's a must, um, because the quality of those shades, it's insane and it's amazing. I know this is, is sold out, but I hope they're going to restock really soon because this is amazing. This is Tiny Marvels from um, Sydney Grace. Sydney Grace in collaboration with Mel Thompson. But it's so beautiful. And those shades are really beautiful, very blendable, intense, super intense, crazy intense. Um, but they are absolutely beautiful and I truly, truly believe that this is a must-have eyeshadow palette. All right, we did it. Oh my God, we did it. We ranked all of them. This is all, uh, these are all the shades, uh, these are all the eyeshadow palettes that I had for you today. Now, are you ready for the Romanian phrase of the day? Right, so the Romanian phrase of the day it is Kai Vers pe pereți. Kai Vers pe pereți. What that means, it means what the translation in English will be um, green horses on walls. So green horses on walls. But what we implement in Romanian is that those green horses on the walls are flying on the walls you know what i mean we don't say the flying word in there but we kind of we kind of allude to that okay so what that means you're you are delusional when we say oh really kaivers papirets what that means you're delusional that's not happening that is that is only in only in your head that is not a real thing so there you have it this is the the word of the day the phrase of the day for today thank you so much for being here give this video a thumbs up and i will see you all next time bye now